They understand freedom. We don't even understand freedom anymore. We are a country that is headed towards socialism, totalitarianism, beyond your wildest imagination. I have to tell you, I'm doing a story tonight that I wanted to debunk these FEMA camps. I'm mm -hmm. tired of hearing. You know about them? Sure. I'm tired of hearing. I wanted to debunk them. Well, we've now for several days done research on them. I can't debunk them. And we're going to carry the story tonight. I don't know anything about him. So it, is, it is our government. If you trust our government, it's fine. If you have any kind of fear that we might be headed towards a totalitarian state, look out. Buckle up. There's something going on in our country that is... Uh, Ain't good. All right. Something else uh, you're going to talk about coming up <laughs> I know, next. I know. I'm, I'm wondering about the Gretchen, do not again. get on the couch. Yeah. <laughs> Stay you know above what? the again. table. Gretchen. What? Name the monster in the dark and have no fear. There are more of us than there are of them. We just have to be honest and open about right. these and things. Right, and guess what? And the, we can our new Secretary them. of State just went and shook the hands of another uh, voice of evil, and that Syria. is Syria. Who have never come clean on killing the... Uh, Name the, evil. Stop America has got to gotcha. stand up. Okay, so the FEMA, they're not FEMA trailers, FEMA prisons, FEMA camps. These are actual prisons that were built under the Bush administration. Um, and they were built specifically for a couple of reasons. One was for a massive influx of illegal immigrants that we would have to jail. Now they're sitting there empty. If you've got a problem in California, why aren't we using those? But Why are we using those? That's FEMA, Federal yeah. Emergency. What's yeah. that have to do with immigration? Yeah. That's an I word. It's a, it's a, it's an odd, it's an odd thing. It has nothing to do with that. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, we're sitting here and we're actually considering not enforcing our law yet again in California. Here are people who are taken off the streets, mm -hmm. violent criminals, some of them, and we're just going to dump them back into the streets. California is absolutely out of control. You want to see your future, America. If we continue to do this, just look to California, because that's, that's where we're headed. So is that a federal issue, though, or is that Governor Schwarzenegger? This is Schwarzenegger. Their, their prisons are overcrowded. Uh, the They're going to release a third out of the prisons well, in I, California. Uh, yet another reason to open my business and in California. And these camps are <laughs> well, all over the U.S.? Yes. And they're all empty? Yeah. Yeah. And they're all, and, and look, here's the so thing. So that's you'll, what you're talking about tonight. tonight. You'll see that tonight, and I, I tell you, it just something doesn't sit right with me. You know, we were talking off the air. We have a standing battalion in this country in Maryland. It's not the National Guard. I'm, I, I'm, my show is going to send out letters to all of the governors. I want all the governors on record saying they will not allow the United States Army or any branch of the military unless they call them up. You know, you What's don't... this battalion supposed to do? It's for emergencies. It's for civil unrest. So it's, it's like for, the National Guard? Um, yeah, but it's not the National Guard. It's a super guard. It's a super guard. When did it start? Uh, August it was. They say it was for September 11th, but it was actually put into place this last August. So you're saying that we, we had trouble recruiting for a while for the military, but you're saying we didn't have any trouble forming this force, and who pays for it? The United States government, you do. Your tax, your tax dollars are going to pay for it. I know it's, these... ag it's against the Constitution. All right. You, yesterday you said you're in favor of marijuana being legalized. You have 10 seconds only, to defend it. Only, look, only for this reason. Let's have the real debate. They're talking about a budget crisis in there. We've got Mexico burning down. We either enforce our laws and put people who smoke pot behind bars, or we legalize it to relieve the pressure down on the border and to relieve the pressure so we don't have a constitutional crisis. Obama says it's a federal law against right. it, but if, if California, if you want it, Great, you pass it, and I won't enforce the law. Yes enforce or no. the laws or change them. Will you wear that outfit on your show at 5 o'clock? Yes I or no? I may wear tennis shoes. Well, thank goodness. <laughs> All right, we're going to change my mind. After a very long night of tossing and turning, if you watch Fox and Friends this morning or listen to my radio show, I told you that I was going to tell you about the FEMA camps or the FEMA prisons today. This is something that I snapped on the air because somebody called me up and said, "Do you? why don't you talk about the FEMA prisons? And I said, can we just settle the FEMA prison thing? I don't believe in the FEMA prison. If you don't know, I'll tell you about it in a couple of days. 
I was going to talk about it today, but as I came in, I came in and did the show this morning, and then I went in and to my office, and I was looking at all the research that had been compiled, and it wasn't complete. And I am not willing to bring something to you that's half-baked. If these things exist, that's bad, and we will cover it. If they don't exist, it's irresponsible to not debunk this story. We have an independent group on this program looking into it, turning over every stone. I am going to bring you this story. This program is not beholden. This is going to drive the, the conspiracy theorists let the crazy slot me out. I have this. They're making me say this. Help. This program is not beholden to anybody. We answer to ourselves. I answer to me. I lost sleep last night worrying about this story, thinking about this story, and wanting to make sure that I got it right. The only thing that I answer to is myself. And I just want to be able to look at myself in the mirror and also sleep at night. The media covers lots of stories, but I don't think they ever put the pieces of them together. I mean, they just never ever know what anything means. All of the all of the news is connected. It fits together. It fits together like a puzzle. And I want to show you tonight what it means. Trolling things. Joining me now is uh, Congressman Ron Paul. Hello, Congressman. How are you, sir? Hello, Glenn. Good to be with you. Good to be with you. Um, first of all, I, on the FEMA prison thing. I know we've been in contact with your office, and we would appreciate any help that you have. I want to make sure we're turning over every stone on anything, because there's, mm -hmm. there's a lot of crazy stuff that is being said about these things. And I appreciate you talking to us, and, and uh, we'll be in touch with you again, because I want to make sure that we have everything that you might be concerned with as well. Will you help us on that, yeah, sir? I don't, yeah, I don't think all the answers are in. You're concerned that they might be setting up these camps at uh, verge on concentration camp. There's no evidence that I can find that they're ab actually set up. But I, I think there's a justified concern, not, not just because of the legislation is, that has been proposed, because that, doesn't, that piece of legislation doesn't have a lot of co-sponsors. It's not on the verge of being passed. But the atmosphere in Washington is what we have to be concerned about. Yes. You know, since 9-11, dealing with the Patriot Act and repealing the uh, Posse Comitatus and the Insurrection Act, these are trends that are very, very bad where personal liberties and civil liberties are not well protected and FEMA is already very very powerful and they overrule when they go in on emergencies so in some ways they can accomplish what you might be thinking about about setting up camps and they don't necessarily have to have legislation you know to do yeah, know. Uh, the things that we dread but it's something that's uh, yeah. Congressman, uh, certainly I, deserves a lot of attention right I, and I want to make it very clear I, I'm not fearing these things are happening I want to set the record straight because we We've got to know what we can believe in. Now let me switch topics here.